are your everyday tools that make life a little easier. Robert Jagoff, co-president of Great Neck Saw Manufacturers, never thought he'd end up running the fourth generation family business. It started with his great grandfather, Samuel, a hundred years ago. Great Neck Saw is a family run operation that is constantly morphing because the industry demands us to morph. We sell hardware, we sell automotive, we sell sporting goods. They have four manufacturing plants. The biggest one is in Mineola, where they make hundreds of thousands of saws and screwdrivers every month. If you walked into any Home Depot or Lowe's, there'd be something that we're manufacturing right here in Mineola. Each brand has its own style and color scheme. They're the largest privately held tool manufacturer in the United States, manufacturing for major retailers, including Husky for Home Depot and Cobalt for Lowe's, as well as private label for two-step distribution stores like Ace Hardware. They're in all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, Central America, and parts of South America and Europe. They're on track to hit $150 million in sales this year. When it comes to quality, they take pride in their heritage and the fact that their tools are made on Long Island. We even use some of the standards from the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s today because they were the best you can get. And we still manufacture those standards. Handles for the screwdrivers are placed on pegs and then go through acetone vapor baths to polish the surface. A carousel is used to insert the blade. This is where handsaw blades are fabricated. They start as coiled steel and are stamped into the shape of the blade before they're set into a frame for grinding where the teeth are formed. Great Neck Saw manufactures five days a week out of this 265,000 square foot warehouse. They have 200 employees in Mineola, many of whom have been with the company for more than a decade. Manufacturing in this facility has sort of mirrored the American immigration story, starting from my family immigrating from Russia, and then we had Irish coming in, immigrating into the United States and working in our factories. They moved up in the world, uh, Portuguese came into this area um, and for several generations populated our factories. They moved up in the world and now we have a lot of Central Americans working in our factories. So it's really a melting pot and a tapestry of different cultures who have come through these doors. My country is Portugal, 30 years. I like it. This is my first job in the United States. I'm working to get my family. It's good. And Great Neck Saw has no plans of leaving Long Island anytime soon. In Mineola, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.